Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willa Berry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, how about joining me for a day of mobile home living here in the Virginia mountains. I'm making cheesy stuffed shells with a homemade meat sauce for dinner, and I have a little cleaning up to do. So if you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. What a beautiful day we're having here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm going to be making a homemade meat sauce for dinner tonight, so I need to pick a few fresh herbs from my herb garden. My plans for the day are to get my pasta sauce started, and then I need to make my bed so that I can fold a bunch of sheets and towels that we washed at the laundromat. And then later this evening, I'll be making cheesy stuffed shells with a homemade meat sauce for dinner. What do y'all have planned for this day or evening? Depending on what time zone you're watching from, I'd love to hear what y'all have been up to. y'all to get started i've organized all the ingredients that i'll need to make a pasta sauce i'm going to chop up one yellow onion and then saute that with some minced garlic and a little olive oil while the onion and garlic are sauteing i'll chop up the fresh herbs that i picked from the herb garden i picked oregano basil and parsley which i'll add to the pasta sauce i'll also be using some dried herbs as well as the fresh ones I suppose the fresh herbs should be enough to season the sauce, but I like the flavor that the dried herbs add to the sauce as well.
Okay, so the fresh herbs are all chopped up and the yellow onion has been sauteing for a few minutes. So now I'm ready to add the minced garlic. Once the garlic becomes fragrant, then I'll add the tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste to the pot with the garlic and onions. Yum! It smells amazing already. But just wait a few hours after the sauce has been simmering all afternoon. It's going to smell even better. And not to mention, there's going to be so much flavor in the sauce with all those fresh and dried herbs. I already can't wait for dinner tonight. But I will have patience because I know the longer it has to cook and simmer, the better the flavors will be. All right, y'all, I went ahead and set the temperature to low and I'm gonna let the sauce work its magic until later this evening when I'm ready to make the cheesy stuffed shells. In the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my mess and then I need to go make my bed so that I can fold a few loads of sheets and towels from our weekly trip to the laundromat.
the sauce is simmering away and the house is starting to smell like an Italian restaurant. It smells absolutely heavenly in here. Well, while the sauce is cooking and doing its thing, I have a little time to waste until it's time to get dinner started. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to make our bed so that I can fold some laundry. It's really starting to warm up here in the mountains. It was 86 degrees here today, which means it's starting to get too hot to continue to use my thick quilts on the bed. I ordered a thin summer weight quilt from Amazon, so that's what I'm gonna use on the bed today. We made our weekly trip to the laundromat a couple of days ago, but I'm just getting around to folding them. I have a few loads of towels and several sets of sheets to fold, so that's what I'm going to do now.
I recently answered some questions in a video, and y'all really seemed to enjoy it. So I thought I'd answer a few more questions in this video. I've gotten several questions wanting to hear about my nursing career. I've mentioned a few times that I used to be a registered nurse, but unfortunately, I had to stop working due to some health concerns. The main one being my arthritis. I miss working as a nurse every day, but it just got to be too physically demanding for me. I was a labor, delivery, and recovery nurse, and oh how I loved it. Helping mamas bring their sweet babies into the world was a dream come true for me. When I was 18 years old, I watched my niece being born, and it was then that I knew that I wanted to be a nurse, a labor and delivery nurse. It took many, many years for my dreams to come true, and I wouldn't change a thing, except I wish I could still do it. As much as I miss it, I think God had other plans for me, such as being a caregiver for Tim's mom and a stay-at-home mom for my boys. What a goofball. I tell you what, he's always cracking me up and has been for almost 25 years now. We got married in December of 1999 and we'll be celebrating 25 years of marriage this year. I've gotten a couple of questions asking how Tim and I met. Well, the short version is Tim and my brother were best friends back when they were in high school. You see, Tim is six years older than I am, and I have no memory of him when he and my brother used to hang out together. Well, many years later, he came over to my parents' house at Christmas time to visit my brother and my parents, and I just happened to be there. Well, he decided to call and ask me out for a date. Well, our first date was on the 4th of July because Tim was living in Northern Virginia and I was living down in North Carolina, so we were seven hours apart. Well, we went on that first date, and then we got married six months later, and we've been together ever since. 25 years. Hard to believe. I tell you what, I wouldn't change a thing. That's for sure.
right, y'all. It's been a few hours since I started my pasta sauce. I've made the bed, folded some laundry, and played with Max and Willow. And now it's finally time to start preparing dinner. I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. I've never made cheesy stuffed pasta shells before, but if they turn out as good as the recipe sounds, then we're in for a treat. Cheesy stuffed shells are jumbo pasta shells stuffed with creamy ricotta, melty mozzarella, and salty parmesan cheeses, then smothered with more mozzarella cheese and baked on a bed of meat sauce. Well, the recipe calls for marinara sauce, but we like meat sauce, so that's what I'll be making tonight. Well, to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and gather up all the ingredients that I need to prepare our dinner tonight. I've got all the ingredients organized to prepare our dinner tonight. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and brown the ground beef for the meat sauce. I'm chopping up a half of a yellow onion to cook with the ground meat along with minced garlic. I'll also be seasoning the meat with the same dried herbs that I used in the pasta sauce. Garlic powder, onion powder, basil and oregano, as well as salt and pepper.
The meat for the meat sauce is all ready to go. I'll combine the pasta sauce with the ground beef right before I'm ready to assemble the casserole. I suppose I could have gone ahead and combined it now. I just wasn't thinking about it. Oh well, we'll just call the meat sauce basically ready at this point. Alright, so up next is the cheese filling that we will be stuffing the pasta shells with. I guess I should have mentioned this before now, but I've doubled the recipe to feed my family of six. Plus, we like to have leftovers for lunch the next day, so I'm making a huge amount of stuffed shells for dinner tonight. But like I was saying, the cheesy filling is very easy to make. You just combine the three cheeses with egg, salt, pepper, and parsley. We're cooking right along y'all. I've prepared the meat sauce and the cheesy filling and I have the water coming to a boil for the pasta shells. So I'm going to go ahead and start preparing the salad that we're going to have with our dinner tonight. I plan to set it up like a little salad bar. Not all of us like salad and those that do don't always like the same toppings. So I like to set it all out like a little salad bar. That way everyone can make their salad to order just the way they like it.
The first round of pasta shells have finished cooking. I cooked them just until they were al dente, and then I placed the pasta in a bowl with cold water to stop the cooking process. That way they're not falling apart while trying to stuff them with a the cheesy filling. As soon as the second batch of shells have finished cooking and have cooled down, then I will be ready to start assembling the cheesy stuffed pasta casserole. So like I mentioned earlier, Tim and I will have been married for 25 years this coming December. I was 26 and Tim was 32 when we got married, and we waited six years before we started having any children. We wanted me to finish nursing school before starting a family. I graduated in 2005, and our first son was born nine months later. I was 33 when he was born, 35 when I had my second baby, and 38 when I gave birth to our third and final baby boy. That means we have three big and strong teenage boys still living at home. I get a lot of questions wanting to know why I make so much food at our meals. Well, because I'm feeding a crowd, and three of them are bottomless pits. Plus, we like to have leftovers for lunch the next day. Especially now that the boys are out of school for the summer. They're always looking for something to eat. That's for sure. Okay, I'm finally ready to start assembling my casserole. I'm going to get started by placing a layer of meat sauce in the bottom of my casserole dish. And then I'll start stuffing the pasta shells with the cheesy filling. I placed the cheesy filling in a Ziploc bag to try and make it easier to stuff the shells. But personally, I think just using a spoon would have worked better. Maybe I should have used a bigger bag. Or maybe I filled the bag too full. Either way, I found it to be too messy and kind of cumbersome to stuff the shells with the bag, so I'll be sticking with a spoon next time. Alright, well let's stuff some shells.
Well, y'all, I've just about finished prepping everything for dinner. The casseroles are almost ready to go in the oven. The only problem is, I thought I had two bags of mozzarella cheese, but I only had one. I need a little more mozzarella to spread on top of the casseroles before baking them in the oven. Luckily, Tim had to run to town for an appointment, and he's going to stop by the grocery store to pick up more cheese for me. He should be back soon, and then I can finish the casseroles. In the meantime, this will be a good chance for me to catch up on some dirty dishes. It's always a good feeling when I'm able to clean up the kitchen a little bit while dinner is cooking. It doesn't always work out that way, but if I'm able to clean as I go, then that makes after dinner cleanup that much easier. This is another question I get quite a bit. Why am I always the one doing all the cleanup? Well, it just looks that way. I promise I'm getting tons of help behind the camera. It's just that the boys usually don't want to be filmed, especially while they're doing their chores. They tell me all the time that YouTube is my hobby, not theirs. So I usually find jobs for them to do off camera. It all works out in the end. We all help each other. All right, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish washing up the dishes and then hopefully Tim will be back from the grocery store with the mozzarella cheese that I need because I'm ready to bake those casseroles.
Well, y'all, the dishes are clean, but Tim still isn't back yet. I guess I'll go ahead and prepare the garlic bread so they'll be ready to pop in the oven as soon as he gets home with the mozzarella cheese. Can y'all believe it? I almost forgot about the garlic bread again. But luckily, I remembered this time. I love making garlic bread. I just smear the bread with butter and then spread on some minced garlic. After that, I add garlic powder and dried oregano or dried Italian seasonings. Whichever one I grab first, they both taste great. Guess who taught me how to make garlic bread? Tim did. means I can finish making dinner now. I'm just going to cover each casserole with mozzarella cheese and a little bit of Parmesan cheese and then bake them in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the cheese is all melty and bubbly on top. It won't be long now before dinner is ready to eat and I can't wait. That's for sure.
The cheesy stuffed pasta shell casseroles look and smell delicious, but they still need a few more minutes to finish baking in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting away the clean dishes. Once I finish with that, then I'll start putting together our dinner. Dinner is ready, y'all, and we can't wait to dig in. Oh, how I hope it's as good as it looks, that's for sure. All right, well, let's get this dinner served up because we are ready to eat. Wow, y'all, doesn't that look delicious? It smells delicious, I know that's for sure. Well, let's find out. I'm going to serve myself up a plate and have a little taste test.
Oh my goodness, y'all. The cheesy stuffed pasta shells taste amazing. I will be making this dish again real soon. You can bet on that. And that homemade pasta sauce was probably the best I've ever made. I thought I might have went a little overboard with the dried herbs, but nope, I think it turned out perfect. Well, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my dinner, so I guess that's about it for another video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again real soon. Y'all have a great week. Bye, y'all.